Hello everyone, this is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. And if you like my courses, then rate and recommend my courses. And don't forget to follow me and also don't forget to give it a big thumb. And friends, uh, we have a YouTube channel. You can also subscribe our YouTube channel. And let's talk about the subject. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the KVL, that is Critch of Voltage Law. So let me tell you something about the lecture pattern. How you study for the exam, that is really important, right? So, doing an exam-oriented study, this is equally important. So that is why I am following this particular lecture pattern. This is very important and beneficial for you guys if you are preparing for gate exam. Then you must follow this pattern because the objective behind this pattern is the whole concept should be in your mind for long duration, right? And this is equally important from the revision point of view. So let's see what is our pattern. So this is our study pattern in which first we will take a gate previous year question. There will be a two mark question. Then we will see what is the required theory in that particular question, right? So in this lecture, the required theory is KVL and mesh analysis. Then after learning the KVL and mesh analysis in detail, we'll come to the solution. So we'll solve this gate previous equation by the end of lecture, right? So this is a pattern. So if you are seriously preparing, then please follow this pattern. And you can easily do a quick revision with the help of this kind of a pattern. So let's start. First we have question. Just read it carefully. In the circuit shown in a figure. So figure is given. So this is our circuit. The value of current I. This current I will be given by. So directly they are asking the value of current. And here we have few options. Let's see what is given in the circuit. First thing, there is an independent voltage source of 5 volt, 4 resistance and 1 dependent voltage source. Just remember, whenever the dependent source are given, they must be given along with the value on which they depends. For example, here we have the voltage source. So this voltage source depends upon the voltage. So it is known as a voltage dependent voltage source. Now we need to find where this VA be in the circuit. So we can easily able to find that this voltage source depend upon VAB and VAB is given here. This is a voltage between A and B point. So voltage source depend upon this value of voltage. So for solving this question, two things we need to know. First thing, to write an equation. So how to write an equation? You need a KVL. And secondly, you need to know what is mesh analysis. So let's start. Bridge of voltage law. Critch of having a two laws. First one is current law. Another one is a voltage law. So in this particular lecture, we will learn what is Critch of voltage law, right? In short, it is known as a KVL. Now its statement. It states that the algebraic sum of all the voltages in a closed loop is zero. One more thing you should remember that KVL is applicable only in for a closed loop. You cannot apply a KVL into an open network. So, it is based on law of conservation of energy. Mark this point because this is very important even in exams. For example, SSCJ, DMRCJ and many other exams. Such kind of question uh, you can easily able to find, right? So, uh, questions like KVL is depend upon which law and one of the law, this energy, law of conservation of energy, uh, you will find in options, right? So, such kind of question you will see in such kind of exam. So, 
you should remember this point that KVLs depend upon law of conservation of energy. Now, if you forget this point, then no need to be worry. Uh, you we always know, right? Uh, that what is voltage? Just ask yourselves. So, voltage is a work done in moving a charge from one point to another point, right? And what is work done? Work done is the energy. So basically, voltage and energy. So in this way, you can easily able to remember this particular point. Then moving to the sign convention. Uh, you can take the sign convention according to yourself also. But uh, I used to take this. So let me tell you. Here in the circuit, for rise in potential, we'll take negative. So my current I is in clockwise direction, right? As you can see. So while moving the current in clockwise direction, you'll see the current will going through minus to positive. So there's rise in potential. I'll take it as a negative. That is why I'm putting a negative sign before this voltage. Now moving to clockwise direction, applying Ohm's law equals to IR. Here I'm writing. For drop in potential plus to negative, I'll take a positive sign. So here I R1. Then again drop in potential. So I'm writing I R2 equals to 0 according to this statement. So in this way you can easily able to apply the bridge of voltage law, right? So friends, uh, this sign you can take according to your own. For rise in potential, you can take it as a positive. And for drop in potential, you must take it as a negative if you are taking rising potential as a positive. Now mesh analysis. What is mesh? Mesh is a loop that doesn't contain any inner loop. It is applicable only for the planar network. What is planar network? A network in which no branch crossing one another. Mesh analysis. To know the mesh analysis, you must know the Ohm's law and KVL. We already covered this KVL. Mesh current direction. You can take any direction according to your choice, either in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction. What is the procedure? So let's see. Identify the total number of meshes loop in a circuit. So here, the closed loop, there are the two closed loop. Assign them a mesh current. So I'm assigning a current here. I1 and I2. You can take direction, any direction according to yourself. Then develop a KVL equation for each mesh. So for each loop, we will develop a KVL equation. And you know how to write a KVL equation, right? Now solve the equation to find these mesh currents. So how many mesh equation actually require? There is a particular formula B minus N minus 1 where B represents the number of branches. So in a branch, this is any circuit element is connecting. So this whole point is known as a branch. Node. What is node? Node is a point where two or more than two element circuit branch are connecting. Now moving to our solution of that particular gate question. So in our gate question, they are asking about this current. So let's apply the mesh analysis. First, identify the total number of loops. So here, the total number of loops are 2, 1 and 2. Assigning them a mesh current, I'm assigning I1 and I2. Now let's apply the KVL equation for loop 1. We will write here. For rise in potential, I am taking as a positive here. Then moving clockwise direction. Here resistance value is 1. So I am directly writing here minus I1. For drop in potential. Again for drop in potential, I am writing minus I1. And equating to 0 according to KVL. Now on solving you will get 5 equals to 2 I1. So I1 equals to 5 by 2. And that is equals to 2.5 Ampere. 
Now, how to find VA? For finding this VA, we can write V equals to IR and R value is 1 ohm and I value is 2.5. So, you can directly write here VA equals to 2.5 volt. Right? So, this is very easy. Now, let's apply the KVL in loop 2. So, here the current direction is an anticlockwise direction. So, for rising potential, I'll take it as a positive. I'm writing here for VAB. Right? Then, you can write here minus 3 I2. Or you can also shift it on right hand side. So, I'm directly writing here equals to plus 3 I2 plus I2 because resistance is 1. So, I'm not mentioning here 1. Now, solving you'll get 4 VAB equals to 4 I2. Or you can write I2 equals to 4 VAB divided by 4. So, we can cancel out 4 by 4. So, you'll get I2 equals to VAB. So, this I2 value equals to VAB. So, let's find the VAB, this voltage. For finding this particular VB, how you'll get, you'll write here VB minus 0 equals to IR and I is here I2 which is equals to VAB into 1 ohm. So, you can directly write VB equals to VAB. And you know what is VAB? VA minus VB. So, I am directly writing VAB equals to VA minus VB. That is equals to VB. On solving, you will get VB equals to VA divided by 2. You can say 2.5 divided by 2. You know the value of VA. We already defined it. Uh, then VB equals to 1.25. And you know VB equals to VAB and VAB equals to I2. So, our current value is 1.25 ampere. So, this is our required answer. 1.25 ampere. So, correct option is option B. 1.25 ampere. So, in this way, you can easily able to find out the answer with accuracy and with the time management. So, friends, Follow this study pattern and keep learning. If you like my courses, then don't forget to follow me. Thank you.